we're counting down our top five best Disney Springs quick service restaurants. Let's rank. Hello everyone, I'm Jay. And you are watching the Theme Park Foodies and we're back at Disney Springs. We've been here so much in 2023 that we figured we'd start off 2024 counting down our top five favorite quick service restaurants. Yeah, there's so much new food, so we'll see if any of the newer spots make yeah. it onto the list. We've been debating back and forth and I do think that our list has changed up the past few months due to the newer offerings as well as just being us being able to try out a few options off camera a few more times yeah um, we definitely check like the consistency and when we do this video we also will stop into the spot we will get something not a full meal because we can eat five full meals today <laughs> we but usually we get our favorite thing uh we, we want to be able to see like how you said sam if they are consistent we also do take into account uh whether they have options that can please the whole family so certain like windows that you may really enjoy and that we may really enjoy too like the poutine over across from Amor Amorettes. Or the uh, line bar drawers, the basket. We yes. do really like. Yes. Uh, we're we're going to provide some notable mentions throughout the video, but those won't make it on because we're trying to find legit quick service restaurants that have an array of offerings that could please the whole family. Yeah, just like also the food trucks. We do like the um, Four Rivers uh, Cantina. Cantina. Yeah. But that's not going to be on the list. We wanted to do places that are like indoors, you have a place to sit. I feel like yes. most of the times people travel, um, it's gonna be very hot here when you come yeah not today but usually <laughs> is so yeah. a place you can come sit down yeah and enjoy your meal in a climate controlled environment yes i think i'm going to start off with a notable mention and then we'll move to number five are you ready to start eating sam i think so these days are always you know it's a lot of work <laughs> a lot of food a lot of work and we really enjoy it and if you enjoy the content please like and subscribe join us while we count down our top five favorite quick service restaurants and helicopters fly overhead here at Disney Springs. All right, so the first notable mention is going to be the food truck area right outside AMC on the west side of Disney Springs. They have the cilantro truck, which we have a video on, this brand new Go Juice truck, and the Four Rivers Cantina truck that Sam brought up. Very good birria tacos. Uh, we have a video on that too. All the places that we are going to today, we do have full reviews on. Yes. So like today, it'll be a bunch of little mini reviews, trying you know out one or two small things but you can reference those videos if you want to see a more in-depth experience. Yeah, and I did want to bring up this area because they do have an array of options, but I do think the options are quite limited. Plus, it's outside, so if you're in that Florida rain, this might not be your number one spot. All right, so number five takes us to the Marketplace section of Disney Springs, a fan favorite Earl of Sandwich, stating that they have- Not Earl the Squirrel. <laughs> not Earl the Squirrel, Earl of Sandwich. They state that they have the world's best hot sandwich, and their mascot is the inventor of the sandwich earl himself they do have uh rosé they offer breakfast here they have different beers that you could try um assorted like chips salads so it's a lot that you can get but we got one of their signature options the full montague so i earl's the inventor of sandwiches i actually read that lord montague in the 1700s is said to have invented sandwiches. He was playing cards and he didn't want to, he wanted to be able to eat with his hands. So he asked for his roast beef to be placed in between two pieces of bread because he was lazy. Interesting. Well, Sam, you actually have a feud with Earl of Sandwich because you didn't want to put it on this list, right? I don't feud. I just, I've only had one experience here and I didn't like it. Yes. So. I've had multiple experiences at different locations. So if you're in Florida. Likes it, and I know a lot of people really like it. And I do think it's like a people pleaser option. Yeah, so there are a multitude of sandwiches, different things you can get. They also, if you live in Florida or if you're on the Florida Turnpike, uh, they actually have Earl of Sandwiches like in different quick service areas. But I think, I'm not sure if this is the original one. I know that their roof is kind of colonial based. They have like a colonial interior themed setting. And this is the full Montague. So it has cheddar cheese, Swiss cheese, Earl special mustard, lettuce, tomato, roast beef, and turkey. I like the, the bread. The bread's supposed to be made fresh in house. The bread is very good. It's warm, it's soft. I like the meat, the meat tastes good. It's harder though, because I think because I grew up in New York and I feel like New York delis just make really amazing sandwiches. They do. They also have very loud metal chairs here, like very loud patio seating. This is definitely better than 
what I had last time I was here. I don't even remember what it was. Well, I think last time we were too, I feel like a kid like soiled themselves like near where we were sitting and it ranked the whole restaurant. This restaurant does have a little bit of a smell to it. Affected things? It's an old restaurant. I don't think it's, I'm gonna give it a seven. I also think it's a more cost effective. Yes. With a pass holder discount, this was like, I think like 850 for us. So, you know, for today's prices, and especially Disney prices, it's pretty good. As we leave Earl of Sandwich, we actually don't have to go that far for number four. Hi, Sam. All right, so our number four is actually Eat by Manit Chohan. It's the newest quick service restaurant here at Disney Springs. If you take the boat transportation from either the Port Orleans Resorts or the Key West Resort, you're actually going to end up through security right to the left of this restaurant. So if you bear a right, you can come right here. It's right next to Earl of Sandwich, so we didn't have to actually go too far. Also in the Marketplace section of Disney Springs, and this is our favorite thing that we had when they first opened a few weeks back, Sam. It's their cheesecake, right? Gulab Jamun cheesecake. So Gulab Jamun is like a traditional um, Indian dessert. It's kind of like a donut in a way. It's a very sweet, doughy. So it has a little donuts ball. right here on the side. Um, we also like the pizza. The complaints I have heard about this restaurant are from generally people who eat Indian cuisine regularly. They feel like it's not too spicy or there's not a lot of uh, super big flavors. Our favorite things are like the Americanized I think, stuff here, right? Yeah. The pizza, the non-pizza, yeah. right? And then this. This is so good. All right, can't wait to have it again. Let's go. And they do bring the food to your table, which is nice. And they do come on and check on you too. Mm. The cheesecake has a delicious crust. Super creamy, has that kind of like light sourness you normally get from a cheesecake, but very sweet. And also the delicious sweet and tart flavors you get from the strawberry compote. The white chocolate adds like a nice creaminess to it. And these little donuts are probably my favorite part, right Sam? They're so good. Uh, I would give this a nine. Uh, this is definitely my favorite thing from here. Um, I would come here just for the cheesecake. So that's one of the reasons I ended up on this list. Also, non pizzas, Americanized Indian food has a unique kind of flair to it, and I think also something in here uh, can, there's something on this menu that can please the whole family as well. All right, so I wanted to give a notable mention to Swirls on the Water. This is actually right across from Rainforest Cafe, right as you get into the marketplace section on the bridge over here at Disney Springs. It's the place where you can get Dole Whip. So obviously it's gonna be sweet, there's no savory here, it's more of a window and a quick service option. But I feel like you have to bring it up because Dole Whip is like one of the flavors of Disney, right Sam? Yeah, and they have Dole Whip floats, some you can get with rum. They also usually do like a seasonal dessert. Like right now they have like a Christmas tree sundae. Yeah, so if you're- frozen hot chocolate. Yeah. Good. Yeah, no, the, the stuff here, I've never really been let down by it, unless you don't like Dole Whip, then I wouldn't come here. Uh, but it's a great spot where if you get like some savory food, you can come here for a certain dessert after. All right, so our number three quick service restaurant takes us to the town square or town center section of Disney Springs. This is D Lux Burger. And while I will say the burgers, we've had better experiences than others here. We do enjoy our Ballington Burger last time. They're smash patty burgers, they don't really blow me away. The fries here and the dips are what I really enjoy. Right, Sam? Yes, I think the fries are some of the better fries on Disney property. Um, they're hand cut, they're gluten free, they're made in a separate fryer, so you don't have to worry about cross contamination. Um, and they have all these dips that are free. Yes. I feel like where do you get things for free anymore? Yeah, they're, I believe they're in-house made, don't quote me on that, but um, this is their 1921 sauce. Kind of reminds me of an elevated Mac sauce. And this right here is their truffle sauce. Both are very good. Yeah, truffle aioli, both are very good. The restaurant itself does bear a theme that kind of um, encapsulates what Disney Springs is all about. So it's supposed to be like the owners or the one of the original pioneers of Disney Springs opened up this restaurant, making hamburgers in like the early 20th century. So you see that rustic aesthetic inside the restaurant. We go more in depth in this, uh, or in regards to the story of this restaurant in our actual video. So we'll link that below. And these are super fresh. Like they just came out of the fryer. She like warned me like to be careful because they were so hot. Deliciously fresh fries. Remind me of Five Guys fries. Yes, a little bit. I think a little less greasy for me. Uh, five Guys fries can be greasy for me. And one of the reasons this restaurant makes it is one, the theme, two, the dips, and three... And outdoor seating. And they have mobile ordering. Yes. So we just bypassed a very big line. Yeah. Um, and food that will please the whole family. I love these fries. Who doesn't love french fries? I'm giving them an eight. Yeah, the dips are... I love the truffle aioli is my favorite. 
Yeah, I like the 1921 sauce, but I think all the dips are the eight, the fries are an eight. As many sauces as you want. Yes, there's no limit on the sauce. The pumps are available to everyone. All right, so before we head over to our number two spot, I did want to give a notable mention to Cooks of Dublin. This is actually connected to Raglan Road. They have a pretty expansive menu, and honestly, I like the fish and chips here more than the ones in Epcot, right? Yes, and I don't eat seafood, but I really like their grilled chicken sandwich. Yeah, uh, I think the fried chicken here, the grilled chicken here is actually really good. I might even enjoy them a bit more than Deluxe Burger. I think with Deluxe, what really won us over was the theme. Um, with here, it's a, they have indoor and outdoor seating, but it's a bit smaller of a space, a bit more hidden of a crevice, but the food here is very good, so I, I would feel uh, wrong for not for at least bringing them up at a notable mention. All right, so our number two takes us to the Disney Springs Bottle Company building. It is connected to Morimoto. It is the Iron Chef's Chinese or Asian style cuisine window, Morimoto Street Food. Right, Sam? Right, and they don't have indoor seating, but they do have covered seating with overhead fans, and they also have heat lamps for when yes. it's cold. Um, so this is the only kind of window that makes it onto our top five crawl, and it's because the wing or the ribs are just so good, right? Everything is really good. I also really like the ramen and the bao buns. Everything, we literally, yeah. last Christmas, ate this for, for Christmas dinner. We didn't even mean to. Like, we were just <laughs> here, we went to the movies, and we were like, you wanna eat Morimoto street food for dinner? The line is so long, but it's like worth it. There's also a sign that he has like up there talking about um, the Iron Chef, Morimoto, his appreciation for street food and how seriously he takes the presentation and the execution of these dishes. A lot of it is made fresh. All right, these I've given a 10 to before, Sam. Do you think they're gonna be a 10 again? They're the best. Mm. I'm not even a rib eater and I love these. It's the perfect texture for a rib. Crispy on the outside, fall off the bone, moist, juicy. I can't imagine a better rib in my life. That's a 10. I come here just for the ribs. The rib, we waited 30 minutes for these rib, ribs, right, Sam? We did. Because they stop and they, they make everything, not fresh, fresh, you know, everything is kind of sitting out. They take their time making these dishes, and um, you can actually get these in the restaurant. It's so good to get them outside of it. Yeah. 10. If you come here for anything, come for the ribs. It's probably my favorite Asian style cuisine that I've ever had in my life. And we have to do a video on the interior of the restaurant one day, too, Sam, right? We do. We haven't dined in there in a long time. Mm -hmm. Before we go to our number one, I did want to give one more notable mention. It's to Amaretz, which is right next to the World of Disney store here at Disney Springs. It's right across the Daily Poutine. It's mostly known for their sweets. They are carefully curated and artisanally crafted. They also have great sandwiches here too. So most people know they have some good savory stuff in here as well. I did want to give them a notable mention because they are great. They can technically be a quick service option, but the options are more so sweets that are more so limited. So they didn't actually make the full top five list here. All right, drum roll, please. Our number one spot is the Polite Pig, the only Michelin rated restaurant out of all the quick service restaurants here in Disney Springs. You can watch them make those ribs fresh as you wait online the line. It may be long, but it moves very quickly. It's located right in the town square or town center section here of Disney Springs, and I've never had one bad thing from here. This is the original spot that you can actually get Gideon's cookies from here at Disney Springs, right? Yes, years ago they would have like, I think it was like 10 of them, they would have them in the morning. Yes, uh, so I love the fried chicken sandwich here. Sam, you love the Cobb salad here, but we've kind of split the difference. We have gotten the, uh, what is this called? I'm sorry, I forgot. It's called the Southern Pig. I felt like we had to do like a classic. You get it some barbecue. They also have a sauce bar here, a multitude of different sauces that you can get. I got the sweet Layla's sauce, and they also have a uh, barbecue ranch. So we got one of each of those. This isn't a very saucy, it's gonna like do your own sauce type of deal. It's on like a potato bun. It's got some onions on it. The pork is so tender, and all their meats have that smoky flavor. So if you don't like that, I don't. You probably won't like this food if you don't like the smoky. Flavor. But you can get like the chicken or the fry or the fried chicken doesn't have that smoky flavor. So there are other things you can get that don't have that you know smokiness. And I do think they have sweets that are good here as well. Yeah, and there's like a, a fennel apple slaw on it, which gives it a nice crunch and it gives it a little bit of sweetness. This is kind of. My, uh, my bun isn't the best on this one. It's falling apart on the bottom. But this is still a really good pork sandwich. I 
I'd still recommend it. And there's also mayo and mustard on it. I think that it's like a tangy mustard. They got smoky, sweet, and tangy all in one. I also want to say that the service here is always really amazing. Even though it's a quick service restaurant, like they always, they bring your food out to you. They always check on you. They're always very nice. The counter service is always very nice too. Like every, we frequent in this place and every single time, like the staff here is always been amazing. They always ask you to tip before you go to your C2. We do recommend tipping because like how Sam said, they are very attentive of your needs. Never had less than a great experience here. I give this an eight. Yeah, very good. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try it out myself. All right, so I think I'm gonna put a little bit of this sweet Layla, or Layla's sweet barbecue sauce on it. Ooh, look at that, gooey. I honestly feel like it's so good that it doesn't even need sauce. Mm. Very light, smoky flavor. It's not too smoky. Moist, full part. The potato roll is like adds a good texture to it that mixes in well with the flavors and the seasonings of the pork. I'm gonna give that, um, I'm, and I'm gonna agree with your eight. Very, this particular sandwich is an eight. I would give the chicken sandwich here probably like a nine. I love the cob and I add the, the chicken to it and it's so good. Yeah, everything here is really good. There's a reason it's our number one spot. Desserts are good, food's good, made fresh in front of you. It encapsulates kind of all of those unique things that make, I feel like a Disney restaurant a Disney restaurant. As far as good food goes, high quality food, nice theming, little pig, little uh, pig feet running across the ground. They have pig lollipops. <laughs> yeah, pig lollipops, Un unlimited sauces. It's very good and delicious. It was a really fun crawl today, Sam, right? It was. All right, so that commences the top five countdown here of quick service restaurants at Disney Springs. Just to reiterate what we said earlier, quick service restaurants are not table service restaurants. So these are things, you go to a window, they give you the food, you sit down. So these are not our top five table service restaurants. I do think food quality wise, there are a bit better quality to be found in the table service restaurants. But quick service is important because it's very hard to get in those table service restaurants sometimes, right Sam? It is, especially during the holidays. Yeah, what was, well I was gonna ask what your favorite thing we ate today was. Yeah, what was your favorite thing we ate? Honestly, the ribs. Me too, right? <laughs> the ribs always hit. They're they slap. so good. Yeah. And the fries were like so fresh and delicious. Today. Yeah. No, the fries over at Deluxe Burger, definitely recommend those with the dips. I think as far as everything on the menu being good wise goes, our number one polite pig is definitely that. Uh, yeah, no, everything, anything that is good. Everything sucked the landing, I think. Yeah. Earl was definitely five. Yeah. And Polite Pig was definitely one. And I'm really happy that we were able to show um, some notable mentions in here because there are so many things that like, like uh, for instance, the fish and chip spot, Cooks of Dublin. I might even like go there more than Deluxe Burger, but I think as far as family-centric food goes, a place where, you, where everyone can get a seat, you can sit down and eat, um, Deluxe Burger's gonna beat out Cooks of Dublin. So I'm not going solely based off of food, I'm going based off of what we think will be able to please your entire family, which is why Deluxe won that one out. Also, Amaretz, we love Amaretz, right? We do love Amaretz. The sandwiches there, the, the pastries there. So everything, you know, that we've shown today is good, that we do recommend. But we kind of rated these based off of what thing we think would please the whole family, with our last one being truly probably the place we frequent most here at Disney Springs, right? Definitely, and I always get nervous when we do these kind of videos because I know that people have like strong opinions on yeah. what their favorites are, what their top five is, and that's fine. Like, you can disagree. You yeah, know? and if I you mean, do... It's, it's very subjective. Yeah, let us know in the comments what your favorite quick service restaurant here at Disney Springs, or if you disagree, maybe you didn't have that great of an experience at one of these restaurants. Maybe you don't like Plague Pig that much. Let us know. We love conversing about it. And if you enjoy the content, please like and subscribe. Liking will really help our channel grow. It pushes this video out into the stratosphere of the YouTube algorithm. Helps other people find the video. Subscribing, it also helps our channel grow. Hit the bell notification so that way you're notified every time that videos come out, which is when, Sam? Every Monday and Thursday at 12 p.m. Thanks so much for watching. Don't count the days. Don't count the days. We will see you next time. That's all, folks. All right, so we went back to the cookie bar. We haven't been able to get enough. We haven't been able to try all their cookies yet. This is the chocolate cloud cookie. We're each going to try this out. Oh, look how this is gooey. Look at that. All right. Mm. How many cookies did you buy, Jason? I bought four. Well, I bought a lot of <laughs> you seriously have a problem. I got the ginger shop. I got the pink lady again. I also got the um, rice crispy one. Here, Sam, you need to get a bite of that. It's very dark, bitter.
good, right? This is the Mexican. It's fudgy. Yeah, mocha. Tim Tracker said that was his favorite. Clean the cookie. Oh, the Mexican mocha is so good. This is the third time I'm having it. That's good, That's good coffee. The coffee is like the sleeper hit of this restaurant. Yeah, I'm gonna go nine for both. I, I, what about you think? Sam? I agree. Yeah, nine for both. Both are re both are really good. Very dark. They're, if you like bitter, the light and the sweetness, those two things are for you. And they pair great together.